in shading set A intersection B we need to first discover where the intersection lies so we are going to first shade set A like that using lines going in that direction then we shall shade set B using lines moving in the reverse direction in another direction now the intersection is where these two sets are meeting it means where these lines are intersecting that is the intersection so it means a intersection B is this middle part because that is where these lines are crossing each other so that is what we shall shade as our intersection so this is set A intersection B then we have a union B union simply means the unity of the elements in both A and B so this is the whole of set A and this is the whole of set B right here so where these two A and B are united their union is a combination of elements in set A and elements in set B so when they say shared A union B they are talking about to they, they mean that you combine all elements in set A and all elements in set B and so we shall shed the all members of the elements in set A and those in set B so that is A union B so let's investigate what is set A complement set A complement is set A complement is what is outside A that is what it means so set A complement means you do not shed A but you shed everything that is outside set A that is set A complement set B complement means you shed outside set B this is the whole of this is set B so B complement is you shed everything outside B like that now we have set A intersection B complement here we are having set A and set B complement now in this case they ask they want us to find the unity between set A and set B complement so let's investigate where these two are joining if you look at set A set A is just this I'm shading set A that is set A and then set B complement is anything B complement means the outside B as in we are going to shed everything else but we are not going to shed B that is what B complement means so B complement means anything outside B and that is it so if you realize here that the intersection or where these lines are crossing each other is the intersection that is shared between A and B so it means a intersection b complement is where you see the lines uh, intersecting each other crossing each other it means that where these lines are crossing each other is where these two sets are united it's their intersection and so as a result set a intersection b complement is this portion where the lines intersect and so this is now the true a intersection b complement So we have set A complement intersection B complement. Same. Now A complement means that we shed everything else but A. So we shall shed outside A for A complement in, in that direction. So shading set A complement means you're going to shed outside set A and you're going to leave set A intact like that. and then B complement means you are going to shed outside set B this is set B so B complement means you're shading outside B and you're going to leave B 
without shading it. So we shall shade B complement in the reverse order, like that. So you discover that set A complement, intersection B complement is where these lines are intersecting. And you find that they are intersecting outside. So that is the intersection. So the, 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 the shading A complement, intersection B complement means you are actually shading this part outside. So that is actually set A, A complement intersection B complement. Now, set A intersection B intersection C. We have to investigate where this region lies, where all these sets are increasing. So at first, we have set A, which is this one. Then we have set B, which is that one. Then we have set C, we shall shade it in a different form also, like that. So the lines for set A are, are vertical. The lines for set B are horizontal. Then the lines for set C are slanting. So you find that all these th the three lines, the vertical, the horizontal, and the slanting, they are all intersecting in just one region. So in that region where they're intersecting is where all these sets are intersecting. So A intersection, B intersection, C is this middle part. And so if we are to shade that, it is this actually. That is set A intersection, B intersection, C. So A union, B union, C means that set A, set B, and set C united. So union, in their union, it means A union B union C is everything. You shade set A and set B and set C. That is A union B union C. Then we have A intersection B union A intersection C. So we have A intersection B first. What is A intersection B? This is set A and that is set B. So their intersection is this. So we shade it. This is their intersection. Then we have A intersection C. So we have set A and set C. Their intersection is, this is set A and this is set C. So their intersection is this middle part. So intersection C is also here. So when they say union, of course, uh, union it means you shed all of them you shed this and that combined which is this part and that part so this is a intersection b union a intersection c then we have a union c intersection b union c so when we are dealing with intersection we need to discover where the lines are intersecting let's first shed a union c this is a this is c this is set A, and that is set C. So, A union C means you're going to shade everything, uh, like that. Let's use vertical lines for A union C. A union C is that. Then B union C, we have B and C. So, B union C means you're going to shade B union C, everything. So we should, for B union C, we shall use lines that are uh, horizontal. B union C is that. So now the intersection of this and that is where the horizontal lines and the vertical lines are intersecting. And if you look here, the horizontal lines and the vertical lines are intersecting in this region. In this region, in this region, in this region. So they are intersect even in this region. So where they are intersecting is where the intersection is. 
So the intersection of A union C and B union C is actually what we are going to, which is that. Exactly like that. Please remember to share this video on other video sharing platforms and also to su subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for watching. This is Arnold Rangakuramia for Kisembo Academy.